don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more delicious recipes. Also, click on the notification bell so that you get notified each time I upload a new recipe on the channel. Hello, Namaste. Many of you know the health benefits of mushrooms. And probably you love mushrooms. That's why you're watching me today. Mushroom lovers, there are a few recipes on my channel for you to check. Today also, I have a mushroom recipe to share with you. That's pasta with mushrooms. This one is a very easy, very cheesy recipe without the use of too much of cheese. Let me show you how to make this easy peasy cheesy pasta recipe. Please note the ingredients needed to make mushroom pasta. List is also given in description below. First of all, I will tell you how to wash mushrooms properly. Take mushrooms and just rinse them under running hot water. Do not soak them in hot water. Just rinse them, scrub with your hands and keep in a colander. Wipe them off with a clean paper towel or a clean kitchen towel. And your mushrooms are nice and clean. Now you chop them as you like them for your recipe. So for today's recipe, we will cut them in this fashion. Now let's start. Heat some oil in a pan. To it add in chopped garlic or barik kata lesson and chopped onion or barik kata pyaaz. Very little quantity of onion is needed here. Cook it on medium high heat until you see the onion and garlic turn a little golden. Time to add in mushrooms and some fresh parsley. If you do not have fresh parsley, do not worry. You can use the dried parsley later. Cover and reduce the heat to medium so that the mushrooms cook on medium heat for about 2-3 to three minutes. After which, when they are soft and you can pierce a knife into it, Time to add in boiled fully cooked pasta. Please check the recipe up here to learn how to boil pasta perfectly. And along with this add milk or tooth. This will give a creamy flavor. Add Italian herbs that's oregano, basil, parsley and red chili flakes. Do not forget to add in salt. Mix well. And at this time add some water that was left from boiling of pasta it has flavors to add into your pasta cover and cook for another four to five minutes on medium low heat now pasta is done add in some dry parmesan powder add some fresh black pepper powder mix well before serving Add in some fresh parsley and some extra virgin olive oil. That's the main ingredient in any Italian cooking. And my dear friends, the pasta is ready. Serve it warm. Enjoy it for your lunch or dinner with your family and friends. Thanks for watching.